Okay, so today we're talking pricing on the Tesla Model Y, and it's interesting, over the last couple months, pricing has actually increased on a new Tesla Model Y, but I wanna show you how much it costs when you order one. So there is a price, and then what you actually pay is actually a lot more, because there's a lot of fees, taxes, registration, uh, document fee, all kinds of things. So I wanna show you how the pricing works if you're looking at ordering, ordering a Model Y. Okay, so here I am, I'm in my Tesla account and I'm looking at the details of the pricing of this. Now, interestingly enough, this was in, this was in September 2021 when I ordered the car. It still hasn't been delivered. It's scheduled to be delivered the end of December. But even since then, two months ago, this is the 1st of November, pricing has increased $3,000 just on the base price of the car, which is quite a bit in uh, one month's time or two months' time to increase that much. And the... Delivery time is almost eight months away, or so it's saying. So let's go through here. I want to show you. So the Model Y base price, it says, I don't even know why it says thirty nine nine because it's, because how it works is the long range all wheel drive is the lowest and only option that you can get. So the thirty nine nine plus 14 grand is, is that 53 990 so 53 990 is the actual base price of the car and then we have seven thousand dollars of options on here and these i feel were you know for me this is what i kind of wanted to add on there so if you see here the wheels 20 inch wheels those are a two thousand dollar option seven seat interior that's three thousand dollars tow hitch is a thousand and then the black color black is a thousand dollar option so you can do away with these options you could just do if you did white there's no cost for white. The 19-inch wheels are included. You don't have to do the, the seven-seater. You, know, you don't have to do the tow hitch. There's $7,000 in options right there. But the base price, like I said, was $53,990. So in my area, I live in uh, Utah, so this is the, the additional fees. But look at this. There's a destination fee of eleven, dollars well, $11 Document fee of $75. An order fee... $250. If I decide to cancel it, I don't get that back. That's non-refundable. I think that's kind of dumb. So total car price, $62,440. I have a tire fee, uniform fee, and then sales tax. That's a, that's a big one. You may not... Sales tax can vary based on the state. I'm in Utah. This is what I'm paying, about 7.5%. So $4,600 in sales tax. So a car that has a base price of... 53.9 with some options, taxes, everything. We're looking at a total price of 57,441.54 cents. They do take off the $250 order fee, so that's kind of the remaining balance on the car. So uh, I was kind of surprised that it was so much. I mean, obviously, sales tax, that's a big chunk of that, so there's no really w way around that. But I want to show you over here on this screen. Okay, I want to show you. I'm on this. I'm on the screen. This is kind of the order screen. This is now November. It's like November second, twenty twenty one. If you see here, I think it's crazy. It shows an estimated delivery date of September of twenty twenty two. So really, I mean, it's just like ten months away to be able to get a car if you order right now. Purchase price. Uh, let's see here. It, so really, the only two options is. Model Y, long range or performance. The long range, if you see the base price, 56,990. So three, two months ago in September, it was 53,990. It's gone up $3,000 in just two months. Here's our options here. I wanna show you the different options on the paint, how it, it, how it changes the price. So black's 1,000, gray's 1,000, blue's 1,000, red, $2,000. So that's probably why you don't see a lot of red ones. The, the white you get already included. The range, or I'm sorry, the range for the wheels has now changed. So they now give you a decreased estimate if you get the 20-inch wheels. It now goes down to 318 miles. You just get the standard 19-inch wheels. You have 330 miles of range. So before, in a couple months ago, they didn't do that. The 20-inch the wheels didn't say that it decreased the price. Here's our tow hitch. You can add that for a thousand bucks. The interior, black's included. White is a thousand dollar option. Black and white, thousand dollar option. Seating layout, five's included. Seven seat is a three thousand dollar. We see here three thousand dollar option, which I think it's a pretty good. I think it's a good deal to be able to get that seven seats because it's that those. 
And then the big one here, self-driving, $10,000. I didn't do this. It already includes autopilot, so I don't think... I have autopilot on my other vehicles, and I think it's that's sufficient. I don't need full self-driving, especially at $10,000. I don't think it's worth it at all. Okay, so this one says delivery June of next year. If you do different colors, different wheels, for example, seven seat black. Now it says, let's see. Yeah, it still says June. Check this out though. So delivery June, if I switch to Model Y Performance, look at that there. December delivery. So they want you to, the, the more expensive models are available sooner for delivery. That's kind of a ploy for them to get that. One thing that's weird though, is the Model Y performance does not have, this is as of right now, uh, November 2022, does not have, look at this here, does not have the seven seat option, which that's kind of weird that it doesn't have that. So I need the seven seats, so that's not even an option to do the, the long range or to do the performance version. So anyways, guys, I thought that was interesting. So even though I think it's weird, Tesla has this potential savings button. It shows, you know, it decreases the price because it factors in, you know, the savings you're going to have on gas versus electricity. So I think it's weird. I want to know what the purchase price is. And so I, I leave it on that. But, uh, you know, even though it has a base price, if you add in a few options and tax and destination, you know, that, that number adds up pretty quickly and, you know, is, you know, a, a, you know, a decent amount more than what just the, the base price is, is listed. All right. So hopefully that at least gives you some insight. I mean, my car, for example, you know, the base price when I ordered it was 53990 It's not, you know, I'm basically going to be paying 67 441 which, you know, that's, that's 13000 more than the uh, base price of the vehicle. The, the options, yeah, $7,000 of it is options. $4,600 of it is sales tax. So just know that. You, you, you might want a few options. You might want a different color, different wheels, the seven-seat versus five-seat, the tow hitch. Those, those are things I felt that, that I wanted on the vehicle. You could get it just completely without any options. That is definitely a, an option. That would save you about $7,000 from what I how I configured it. Um so at least at least know that there's going to be additional fees costs beyond what the base price is, even if you just don't add any options on. I was a little surprised on that, but uh, you know sales tax is the big one. So if you live in a state that doesn't have sales tax, that's good. I have to pay sales tax here about seven and a half percent, which uh, bummer, but it is what it is. Anyways, well, hopefully I at least gave you some information on the pricing, how it works as my car gets closer to delivery. Uh, should be about two months away. If that changes, I'll just kind of do some updates along the way. But uh, we'll see if they can stick to their time frame. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.